In this video, we'll be covering a module called Faker. Faker is a great tool to just generate a bunch of dummy data or test data in a certain format. Um, it makes testing and load testing much easier. This is also useful to add to your unit tests. So it offers many things. Um, so if you want to just generate blocks of text, you can do that. You can generate addresses, names, anything that um, involves a user account. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is install the Faker library. We can do that with pip. And for this demo, what I'm going to do is just create a large CSV file of invoices. And then in another function, I'm going to basically sum total the quantities and the uh, dollar amounts. So the first thing we need to do here is import Faker. And what I'm going to do first is set a constant, we'll call that record count. And I'm just going to give it an initial value of 10,000. And so all we need to do every subsequent time where we want to scale up and stress test with more records, we just have to change this number. And so we need to initialize a instance of faker. I'm going to create a variable called fake and set that to faker. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is just create a CSV file. So I'm going to define a new function. And it looks like we need to import the CSV library. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is set up a for loop. And so we're going to go for i in range. And so our, our count is going to be the record count. And we don't need the rest of those. So we're going to write a single row, and then we need to pass in a dictionary. So our first name, so all we need to do is call fake.name. And you know, we'll just do the same thing for our last name. So as far as product ID goes, that's basically a foreign key that would, um, in a real application, be from another table. Uh, so what we can do is call fake has a random int um, method. And so what we could do here, this, they make it very easy. We could just set in a min and max. So min equals, let's say it's a number between 100 and 199. Uh, so an amount could be a dollar amount. So what we're going to do, let's just set in a, we'll say somewhere between five and a thousand. Actually, what we could do, we could, what we could try doing is add two zeros. And then if we want a dollar amount, we could take that amount divided by a hundred. And another thing that we can get is just a, just random text. So we need to call fake.sentence. Uh, the address one you have to be kind of careful with because if you just call fake.address, it's going to give you an entire address separated with commas, including like the city, state, and postal code. So we want just the street address because uh, city, state, and country are going to be in different fields. Okay, so that matches all the fields that are in our field names. It's going to be our header row. 
And the next function I'm going to define is a function to get the totals. Uh, first, let's make sure that we have a files directory here. So we're going to initially set some variables um, with zero, and then as we loop through the file, we'll add to them. So we need to create a new variable for our CSV reader. So we're going to look through every row. And then if we uh, look at our field names, this is going to be our header row. What we're going to have is we're going to have is the quantity. So it's going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's going to be an index of 5. So we want to make sure that we're not trying to add the header row. So we'll say if row five is not equal quantity, um, that way we skip over the first row. And then we want to return our totals. And we'll just go ahead and set this up if double under name equals main, or double under main, meaning we're running this file directly. Let's, so what we're going to do is let's go ahead and import, let's import time. And then, so let's set a variable called start. I'm going to create the CSV file, and then let's set up um, an elapsed uh, time variable. So we take a new instance of time, subtract the start, and that's going to give us the amount of time that's elapsed in seconds. And so for the second part, we're just going to um, reset the start variable. Okay, and then if we have done everything correctly, we can go ahead and run this and it'll generate 10,000 lines and then it'll loop through the, every line and um, give us our total. And we mess up a, a name parameter here. So let's try and rerun that. Okay, so it looks like we're trying to add something together that is a string. So we have to convert um, these variables. So quantity, we can just convert int. And for this one, we'll just convert that to a float. Uh, what I want to do first is let's go in here to files and make sure our invoice is file loaded. And so we are getting data. Actually, we have something missing right here. So that looks like it's between. So we have first name, last name, email, product ID, quantity. Looks like it's what's missing. And we forgot quantity down here. So let's go ahead and just add that really quickly. So we'll just give this another random int and we'll have a min of one. And then a max of, let's just say nine. And we need our comma here. So if we rerun this, it'll create a new file for us. 
And it looks like we have our indexes wrong. So we want, this is actually supposed to be four and five. So what it did is it read the header row and tried to convert that to an int is what I think happened. So let's go ahead and fix this. Okay, so we save and rerun. Okay, now we have our totals. So for the uh, record count being 10,000, um, looks like it took about six and a half seconds to create the file. And then the get totals to loop through everything, it only took 0 0.03 seconds. So in this case, in this really simple demo, uh, creating the CSV file is what takes the longest. Now, one thing that I wanted to cover really quick is Faker. It, provides a lot more than uh, what we've just seen here. So it has this uh, thing called providers. And depending on the nature of the data that you need, um, so we, basically we had like a user invoice and profile. So if we go to providers, person, all of these fields are available. Uh, let's say you just want uh, credit card info. There's one for that. And it'll give you like a, it'll simulate credit cards and credit, you know, just expiration dates, uh, the numbers themselves, security codes. So it's, it's, it's a very good uh, library to incorporate into your unit tests. Also very good for um, load testing your application by just sending it a lot of simulated data. Definitely give Faker a try. Thank you for watching.